Good morning, everybody. I hope you are all having a great day. Actually, it's not morning here anymore. It's technically afternoon. It is just afternoon on an amazing Monday. It's super, super rainy here all day. I was out this earlier this morning feeding calves and mules and mares and I got soaked. <laughs> Even last night when um, my littlest and I were out feeding everybody for our evening chores, we got soaked. <laughs> so... Hey Brandy, good morning. I hope you're having a better day than yesterday because I know yesterday was kind of rough, but that's okay. It's okay to have rough days. Um, I'm just going to invite a few people and uh, yeah, just kind of get going. And uh, it's been a long road for Brandy and I with this accelerator program where we're both part of the inaugural class of the Affiliate Accelerator Program offered by the Affiliate Institute. And we were I was telling Todd in my exit interview last week, I was telling Todd that we were kind of like guinea pigs. And he's like, well, don't say that. I'm like, we were guinea pigs. <laughs> like we were never ever, like this was never tried on anybody else before. So it was, <laughs> we were guinea pigs. And to be fair, they did they put everything together really nicely. There were a few tweaks and I'm sure that they are improving things as they get feedback from us and other classes, but yeah, we were guinea pigs. <laughs> so Hi cat. Yeah, go away cat. Cats. Whoop whoop brandy. So anyway, Brandy and I are preparing for our final exam that I don't I haven't looked in the back office today. Um Brandy, have you looked in the back office today if, to see if it's available yet? Because I didn't look this morning yet. Uh, we've been doing jujitsu and cleaning up the living room for jujitsu. And then I was, of course, prepping for this impromptu. Not really impromptu, but like it was. It's an early go live. Normally, I do them on Tuesdays. Today, since my my um, youngest is graduating kindergarten tomorrow. And I'm getting my hair done, which I haven't gotten done in like six months. So I'm super excited for her grad. And oh, it's not there yet. Shoot. I was hoping it'd be there here in the next day or so. So I could do it while my husband's sleeping. He was, just came off a night shift, a week of nights. So I powered through a lot of stuff. Last night I did weeks nine and ten of the tactical mind. So... I got all that stuff done. There is two more weeks in there. I don't know if I'll get them done, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm on day, today's day 10 of my DMO, my daily method of operation, uh, playing the DMO game in our back office. So uh, powering through. Anyway, got my ad going with my new consulting funnel. So yeah, once it's, once I, I should probably share it in here. So if anybody wants to apply to work with me, then they can. Uh, it's just a little short application. If you want, I can, I can definitely drop it in here and then you guys can check it out. My ad and my new consulting funnel. I'm kind of excited that I've built this out and actually put it out in the world. So it was supposed to be out. Uh, it was supposed to be out a week ago. I was supposed to launch it a week ago and now it's launched. <laughs> I'm only a week late. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, in all of that stuff going on, I decided today to talk about how to keep going when you feel like giving up. Because in the entrepreneurial business, we are all talking about how just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. I mean, and those words, those three words have gotten me through the last couple of years because it was probably this time two years ago and I was like, Ugh, I haven't made my million dollars yet. I've been in this business for three months. What the hell? <laughs> Just like everybody else, right? Where you need to look at the big picture, right? So everybody's like, just keep going. You're doing the right things. You're, you're doing that. Just keep going. Just keep going. So, um, and of course I have, I have not given up. There were times that I definitely did want to, but I have not. And this is kind of, um, this is kind of what I not really do. Well, it is what I do when I feel like giving up. I think of just people before me. <laughs> Brandy's laughing at me. I think of people before me when, you know, the people, the big success, like, 
Oh, just off the top of my head, like Walt Disney. Everybody knows who he is, right? Well, that guy, he was told by, I can't remember what paper, he was like told that he was not creative enough. He was rejected by like, some sort of paper. I can't remember, I, I know the story, but he was told that he was not creative enough. Are you kidding me? Walt freaking Disney is not creative enough. Okay. So when you, when you talk about people like that, that have been not really rejected, but like met failure after failure or roadblock after roadblock, if you will, they're not failures, they're learning experiences and still have come out on freaking top. Let's, let's think about that, right? So we all know that persistence and consistency, two main things when it comes to pursuing your goals, um, driving for your dreams, whatever it is that you call it. And I would love to give you the one magic thing. I'd love to wave my wand, be your fairy godmother, and tell you that there's one thing that will magically make all your dreams come true. Unfortunately, there is not anything like that. The thing that will make your dream come true is you. Look in the mirror. That is what will make your dream come true. And it takes hard work. Like I said, perseverance, consistency every single day. Take relentless, persistent, massive action every single day. And ultimately, it will pay off. But like I said earlier, you have to look at the big picture. It's not going to happen in the three months that I thought it did when I first started. <laughs> I was like, three months, six months, I got this. Yeah, no worries. I'll be a millionaire in six months. No worries, right? <laughs> so this process is, to sh is how the weak is weeded out of the pack. Success requires work. And there is nothing sexy about persistence and consistency. Sorry. Hate to break it to you. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Being persistent requires for you to get outside your comfort zone. And that is something that the majority of people won't do. And it forces you to take action even when you don't feel like it. That is what separates the cream from the milk. And the reason why I use that analogy is because I've been skimming cream from milk lately which is pretty awesome. Jenna, the lady that usually pops on with me here, she's my neighbor and she's been um, giving us milk from her cow, which is pretty awesome. So the cream rises to the top. Are you the cream? The cream works to get to the top. And it's out of a whole big jug of milk that I get from her, only this much is cream. Just think about that. Are you the cream? So here are a couple things that you can do to help you feel like, help you feel better, help you feel more motivated, help you feel, just push, help you, help you to push yourself out of that, out of the rut, out of that bad, the, those, those bad days like Brandy and I were talking about yesterday, out of those days to, to help you. So you, you know, especially when you, you feel like giving up, when you feel like throwing in the towel, these, these are a couple things that you can do. I mean, aside from, you know, there's also meditation and looking at all the YouTube videos. There's so many like motivational, inspirational quotes and stuff. Like if you follow the right people on Facebook and Instagram, you'll get that all day long. But this is to be specific to you. Um, and like for the, those really, really bad days or weeks or months when you're just like, I I don't, I can't do this. I cannot do this. This is to help you pull, pull yourself out of that funk. So the first thing I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Cheers. I kind of like doing this at noon better. I feel like my morning stuff is out of the way and jujitsu is out of the way. You know, noon, noon's a good time. Maybe I might change to noon. We'll see. So I'm reaching out to someone who can help pull you out. Yes, Brandy. Mwah. Between you and I, we've helped each other so much, <laughs> especially with this accelerator stuff. <laughs> I get it. Um, so study the greats. If you read and if you are an entrepreneur, an aspiring entrepreneur, anything to do with, you know, wanting to better yourself, you should be reading. 
um, grab an autobiography of someone who you look up to, uh, someone who's achieved success, maybe achieved the successes that you're looking at achieving. Maybe, sorry, somebody just drove by. I was like being nosy. <laughs> Not very many people drive by my house. <laughs> um, so if you find an autobiography or somebody of somebody who um, has achieved greatness, whether it's the thing that you want to achieve or it's saying something that you just think is inspiring. Brandy says, through the tears and frustrations, oh lady, it's all good. I understand. And the fact that you are extra hormonal right now, you have a giant pass on the tears and frustrations. <laughs> so you'll quickly realize the great amounts of persistence and fight that your that the that the author, the autobiographer person, the person that wrote their own autobiography, there we go, I know words, um, that you'll realize the great amounts of persistence and fight that they had, even in the uncertainty, even in the hardship, even through the tears and frustrations that Brandy was talking about, because if they can do it, so can you. <laughs> Greatness, success, leaves clues. And if you're reading on how they achieve theirs, then that might help you, right? Brandy's laughing at me, LOLs. <laughs> so a few suggestions, I kind of Googled these. Um, I do have one in here that I would probably like to read myself, talking about Walt Disney. It's a book called The Ride of a Lifetime by Robert Iger, I-G-E-R, Robert Iger. He was the CEO at Walt Disney for 15 years. So when you talk about Walt Disney being not creative and then his CEO writes an autobiography on being the CEO, that would be interesting, actually. I think I'm going to pick that one up. Uh, another one called Rising Above by Gregory Zuckerman. This one is like based on um, athletes. So I think 11, 10 or 11 athletes who have risen above challenges to become greats in their sports. Um... The autobiography of Malcolm X does not need any explanation at all because that one, I think, that one's another one I'm going to pick up because I don't think I've read that one. And it's a popular one, so definitely pick up that one. And this one I see everywhere in airports. Whoa, are you okay? Get up! Jason and I have been watching Garth Brooks part... Oh, yes! I have that recorded upstairs. I need to watch that because I love Garth Brooks. He is the man. I love, love, love me some Garth Brooks. Um, I've seen him twice in concert. Both times I was pregnant. <laughs> once in Vegas and once he came to Edmonton. Hey, Christina. Good morning, lady. So uh, this book I was talking about, Becoming by Mo Michelle little bit, Obama. Michelle Obama. The first, first lady, the first of, of African-American descent she is definitely gonna be on my list. Uh, <laughs> well, Brandy, you're like always pregnant, so that doesn't that doesn't count. <laughs> Brandy said she was pregnant too. Um, I guess we were pregnant once at at the same time, so that's fair. <laughs> so those few books, I'm gonna recap them again. The Ride of a Lifetime by Robert Iger, I G E R. He was the CEO of Walt Disney for 15 years. Rising Above by Gregory Zuckerman. It's about athletes who have gone through trials and tribulations and have risen to be the top in their sport. Uh, the Autobiography of Malcolm X and Becoming by Michelle Obama. Definitely, if you are looking to, I think even just picking them up and then having them handy for those times where you feel like giving up so you can flip through them um, and you can really just understand how your trials and tribulations, how your tears and your frustrations, how they can help you grow and help you get to your goals and help you help you with your dreams. And number two, and this is one that all entrepreneurs, all coaches, all mindset mentors talk about is never lose sight of your major goals. So this is where your why comes in. Your why is what everybody talks about when you are Starting a business, you have to find a why. What is your why? Everybody talks about that constantly. And for good reason, growth is definitely painful, Christina. 
but it is worth it. Like it's been crazy the last couple years, the amount of growth that I've gone through, but it is definitely worth it. It has been worth it 1 million gazillion bazillion percent. Um, so never lose sight of your major goals. If your why is big enough, it will keep you going. So write it down, put it on post-it notes everywhere, your office, your in your kitchen, in your vehicle, by your bed. If, if, if your why is to like lose weight or get fit or something to do with health, to me, having the post-it by my bed or like when my alarm went off on my phone, my why written out on the alarm on my phone got me out of bed to do the 75 hard challenge twice. Now, it's not something that everybody will, it will work for everybody. It worked for me because I was like, oh yeah, like 75 hard challenge. Let's do this. I'm up at five in the morning. Let's do, let's do my workout. Let's do this. Right? So writing it where you feel you need the most kick in the butt, the most fire in your pants, if you will, the most, the most motivation. So like I said, by the bed, in your office, um, in your kitchen, on your TV. If you go to sit down and watch Netflix, instead of doing something that you know you should be doing and you're procrastinating, putting a sticky note on your couch or on your TV or something, like, should you be doing this or should you be doing your other thing? Like, and oh, I put sticky notes all over my house and my husband usually takes it down because he's kind of a jerk sometimes. But sometimes he's left, he's left some stuff up like on my, like in my kitchen and by my computer, he doesn't usually touch that stuff. So the stuff like on my mirror, um, he doesn't, obviously he leaves my phone alone, but <laughs> so that's why I had to put, you know, my 75 hour challenge, like motivation to get up, to do my stuff on your laptop. Yes, Christina, everything is definitely way worth the growth, uh, the pain of growth. So that way, when you have a bad day, a setback, um, a difficult learning curve, you will remember why you are being persistent, consistent, and pushing forward. Never, ever lose sight of your goals and never, ever be too proud to ask for help. Okay? I will say that again. Never, ever lose sight of your goals and never, ever be too proud to ask for help. I write my goals out, use it as, um, like I said, on my phone, on my laptop, like Christine was saying, um, definitely just write it everywhere. And until it's ingrained in your brain, visualization, write it out. Like in our Philly Institute um, discovery process, we are to create our perfect day. Brandy, I'm making you cry again. I won't make you cry again. Stop crying. <laughs> I love you, lady. I do. Um, and you're allowed to cry. Cry it out. Get it out. So, uh, what was I saying? I can't remember. <laughs> you disrupted my train of thought. It's easy to create the life. Oh, right. Visualization. There we go. Um, writing out your perfect day, writing out your goals in super, super detail where you're losing, using all of your senses. I talk about this visualization all the time and actually visual, visualizing it, either read it out every day, like keep it by your bed, either read it out in the morning or read it out at night. What I like to do is I like to record myself reading it and then I put it in my headphones and along with my meditation. I'm telling myself my goals. I'm telling myself my perfect day. I'm visualizing it in my head with my eyes closed, everything in clear, perfect color every day. So that is how you can just like, it just kicks you in the butt. And that is one huge thing is, is um, visualization. And that's how you can never lose sight of your goals, right? Is visualization is huge. So it's easy to create the life of your dreams but it's even easier to sit on the couch and watch Netflix. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Christina says she writes out affirmations each morning and record them would be such a good idea. Yes, it is such a, I love, I have like a whole list of affirmations that I recorded for myself too. Um, and I do listen to those along with my goals, my visualization. And of course, as you know, my goals change, I rewrite them down, I re-record them, I re-listen to them constantly every day. So definitely, um, it helps big time. So it's easy to create the life of your dreams, 
but it's even easier to sit on the couch and watch Netflix. At the end of the day, you have to decide. You, only you, nobody but you, that's it. You get to decide if your goals, your why, your dreams are worth the effort, worth the pain, worth the frustration and the tears. Is it worth it? If it's a hell effing yes, then get your ass out there and go for those dreams. Be persistent. Take massive action every day because that is what it takes. I know it's not sexy. It's not glamorous, but in the end, it will pay off. So that is why or how, hi, you have grass on your hands, how you can keep going even when you feel like giving up. So Thank you, Brandy and Christina, for popping on live with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, ladies. I love and appreciate you both. Um, and if you're catching the replay, sorry that this is not at my regular time. Can you, you wanna say hi? Okay, come here. She wants to say hi. Hi. Can you wave? <laughs> uh, but um, I might change up 100% hell yes, Brandy says. Awesome. Lady, I'm so proud of you and the amount of growth that you've done over the last few months. It's been huge. I know you probably don't see it, but we all do. Love you, girl. Um, so if you're catching the replay, like I said, either on my YouTube channel or on my website, definitely uh, if you want in my group to catch, catch me live like Brandy and Christina did today, then you can definitely, there's a link around here somewhere around this video, click on it and request access to my Facebook group. It's free. Just have to answer a couple questions, easy peasy. And you can jump on live with me. You can ask questions. You can suggest topics for my weekly go lives because I don't mind suggestions at all. And yeah, you can leave me comments. You can leave me love. <laughs> I hope to see you all next week. Um, I might change the time a little bit. I don't know. I kind of like this noon thing, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, I will see you guys next week. Have a great, great day and a great week. Bye.